All right, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video today. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. Um, I think we're gonna keep it pretty simple today. We're just gonna fish and we're gonna fish hard. Um, I kind of wasn't sure what I wanted to do this morning and I was gonna throw a live bait. Um, I still might. Um, right now I'm rigged up with just one of these. This is a Berkeley stick shad right here. It's like a white twitch bait, it's hard bait. Um, I'm gonna just toss it around, see if I can find some trout and snook and um, I whacked some good snook on this last year um, in the chrome color, but we're gonna toss it around, see what we can find. If I see some bait, probably gonna grab them, and then uh, we're just gonna fish. We're just gonna go with the flow and see what's willing to bite, kind of like we do uh, every single video, I would say, honestly. But <laughs> yeah, um, I just wanted to mention as well, I now have an Amazon storefront. Um, you can click in the link in the description. It's where you can find all the products I use, or uh, most of them, as many as I can find on Amazon, and I can share them with you guys, and you guys can have an easy way to find, uh, you know, stuff like this, uh, the steak right next to me, or my reels, um, stuff like that, the cooler, guineo accessories, uh, fishing tackle, and uh, even camera accessories, stuff like that. You guys can check them out and purchase them for yourselves, and they can, uh, it supports my channel. So yeah, check that out in the link in the description. And other than that, the weather looks pretty nice today. We're gonna try to catch some fish, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's get started. Bunch of glass minnows right here. That's always a good thing to see. I'm always throw around glass minnows. There's almost always fish around it. All right, so I just had a bunch of redfish actually swim by the boat, maybe about 10, and I noticed they were feeding on glass minnows and I could not get them to pull the trigger on the stick shad. So I got on this just this little Berkeley paddle tail here. It's a power bait, it smells, it has scent, so just something that's gonna more match the hatch, I would say. This is like a, a clear color. This should match glass minnows perfectly. It's really small. This has a super tiny profile. It's probably a total of two inches with the jig head. So this should be just perfect for those for those reds. They weren't very big. That might have also been the reason they weren't feeling super aggressive, but they just came right into this cove right here and came right in front of me and I just they wouldn't come up to the surface to get that stick shot. So they were sitting on the bottom, at least this with the jig head. Really tiny bait. I can just drop it down, let it sink down in front of any redfish and, and pop it. Let's see if I can change this change this up a little bit. Well, I can't believe I haven't ran into a fish yet. I'm straight up like floating on glass minnows right now. There's so many under the boat in a nice clear like backwater pocket here. And all I've seen is like a snook that shot off, but I can't believe that there's not fish busting everywhere. After the amount of redfish I just saw that kind of disappeared after changing up baits, I can't believe there's not redfish back in his pocket. It's beautiful. Here's the reds. There it is. There it is. I knew they'd be in here somewhere. All right, so I had went way deep. This is a decent red. Went way deep back in this creek. And uh, I hadn't seen anything. I literally said like, man, I can't believe again, there was nothing back here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Went all the way to the back. I'm like, eh, I'll turn around now, start heading out of here. And uh, on the way out, four, four, five, maybe six of them were swimming right at me right there. And they they U turned when they saw the boat, but threw up in there with the uh, bait that matched the hatch, which is just this little clear paddle tail. And it got a bite. Got a bite. I think I'm going to release this guy real quick right here. And uh, keep moving because I think those other reds just kind of scooted up down the shoreline. We'll see if we can get a quick second fish of the day here, but nice fish. It had to be one of the bigger bigger ones out of that school. Oh, got him. Got him. Hooked him right in the nose. That's a good spot to hook a fish. There he is. First fish of the day. Pretty one. Pretty, pretty one. About probably 23 inches, I'd say. Just lay him right back in the water here. Send him on its way. Go, bud. There he goes. All right, so the whole other school of them, 
or the, the rest of those redfish. They went straight on this way. So I'm gonna keep sliding that way. I feel like I was on the money with the with the bait there. I was literally walking like straight up floating on glass minnows. There were so many. So got the right idea. Let's uh, let's keep fishing. right here up shallow this will be an interesting fight because he is way up in the stuff oh almost ate it he... oh he's all over it watch this watch this There it is. There it is. Oh, gotta love that when a snook is super fired up for a bait. Super fired up. He chased it three times probably, just 100 miles an hour right there on the tail of the bait, but took a few casts to trick him there. I'll take it. That's a snook in the mix. I spotted him pretty good. I mean, out of all those sticks up there, I could just see that fork, that kind of tail, the way that snooks tails are pretty good at spotting snook I will say he's just sitting right there up against a tree like they are most of the time they are almost always around structure not a monster oh check out what he just threw up a mullet that thing is fresh he had to eat that today sorry buddy I guess I'll send you back with it in your mouth I hope that somehow you can Maybe finish him up later. Oh, he's got it in his mouth. He closed his mouth on it. Yeah, he spit up that mullet. He had to have just eaten that. I've been seeing mullet that size all day, and I mean, this bait right here is pretty much about the same thing. Nice and, like, silver little bait. He ate that with a whole mullet in his mouth. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. I'm going to grab a new one here and uh, we'll keep fishing. Look at all these reds. Oh my god, there's a huge school. At least 30, 40, 50 fish. There it is. I'm on. Oh my gosh, like 50 reds just came by the boat. I would 100% try to double up right now if I had another rod. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to release this fish as fast as I can and get another one. I can't believe how many fish just came by the boat. Legit 50 reds. That was crazy. Let me pop this guy off. Put you back in, bud. Let me see if I can get another one. I can't believe how many fish were right there. Literally like a big black cloud of fish. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh my gosh, I can't believe how many fish were there. That was also a super fast catch and release for a redfish. <laughs> that was like 30 seconds at most. Just look down, there's 50 redfish swimming right at me going all around the boat. That was pretty crazy. Big red, big red. There! Smoked it! Smoked it, smoked it, smoked it. I want this fish really bad. That was like a 28 inch or just you turned on it and smoked it. Oh, he's in open water. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's windy. It's windy, but I saw this fish just cruising on the, on the surface, on the shoreline. <clears throat> it's a very good fish. Yep. Fish was just cruising. I had to kind of slow this fish down. I can't believe how big he was. Might be 30. Might be 30. That was a great fish. I threw about three feet to his right, twitched a few times, and just hard U-turn on it and just inhaled it. And thank God that fish 
went the way it went, went the way it went because it was going straight straight for a big big log in the water no no oh man swam right at me I know exactly what he did there that kills me swam right at me and that hook came right out oh that kills me in the wind man I got a gift I got a gift right there God, that drives me insane. A fish came right at me, and I promise you, he shook his head underwater and got the hook out. Oh, I can't believe that. At least a 30-inch red just slipped, just beat me, beat me at my own game. Ah. There's a fish. There it is. That fish came out of nowhere. I blind casted him, but I saw him mid cast, and all I needed to do was just to twitch it a few more times in front of him, and that triggered him and got him to bite. I will take it. I will take it. Let's just hope he sticks. <laughs> I think this is the third redfish of the day. It should have been like the fourth. All right, so third fish of the day here, a little football red he's probably maybe only uh 20 inches there but just got lucky with him just got lucky and uh yeah it's been it's been rough today really slow kind of the midpoint in the day uh morning got off to a real good start and uh this is like the first fish in well a couple hours i think because we lost that lost that other one but nice fish we'll put him back all right nice and gentle buddy we'll send you back on your way yep, yep you're good to go there he goes all right, all right. Paddle tail's still working pretty good here. It seems like everything that, you know, gets a decent look at it eats it, so. Let's keep sticking with what we're doing here. I got lunch in me and now I got a lot more energy. I was feeling kind of, kind of dry there towards the middle of the day, but definitely can get a few more fish today before we head home. Oh, I think I see a red right here. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh! Yep, I want something. Oh, come on, come on. I thought I was stuck in the tree. No way. Wait, what? What is that? <laughs> how in the world did this happen? Maybe this is what I saw. Oh, how in the world did this happen? There's a black drum that I've got hooked, like, kind of in the side. I have not a clue as to whether he tried to eat it or what, or how did I get the hook into him here. Obviously it wasn't on purpose, I just tossed it in there and I was, like, hooked up, but... Got him in the side there, I wonder how that happened. Very interesting, got him, like, in the fin. Should be able to get him out of the, get this one out, no problem. Just swing him in here, look at that guy! A little black drum to add to the mix today. Got him right. That's uh oh. It's gotta be like a one in a million cast. I got him like right on the edge of the gill, kind of in the side of the body there. Popped it right out. Little black drum. Let me send him right on back. Can't believe I just caught a drum like that. <laughs> I wonder if he tried to eat it or it's just like pure luck that I got him in the side. I'll take it. I guess that counts, right? Caught him with a lure, right? Thought that was like a little red at first i was like oh that makes sense i thought i saw one of those under there and then bam black drum black drum baby red right here coming down the tree line drop it in there <laughs> i didn't even get to twitch it i was gonna say drop it in there and twitch i didn't even get to twitch this is just one of these like little rats that i'm lingering around this is about the size, like when I said I saw 20 earlier today in like a group, they were all like this size, which is really cool to see. They're not very big at all. But man, this thing ate before I could even pull, or reel, I should say. This little guy, another red, seems like probably what it's going to be today. It's 12.30, it is kind of late, and it's getting kind of late in the day, but real little guy. Real little guy. Nice blue tail, pretty red. I'll take it. 
But yeah, getting a little late in the day now. I'm just riding with what I got. Got a lot of reds today, so. There he goes. A lot of reds. I'd like to maybe grab a, a nice snook or a nice trout, but I just got to go with what I got. Oh, look at all these reds. There it is! Dude, school. this is that school of rats again. Or a different one. Oh my god, I'm in the trees. Stay out of there, stay out. Hear them pop in under there? Those are all redfish. Oh my gosh. Ran into them again. I just look up. All redfish. All those pops in there. Oh my gosh, they're all right here on the surface. Let me see if I can release this fish real quick. Try to get another one. Oh, this one has such cool spots, too. He has such cool spots. I can't believe out of all the fish there, this one ate. Let me put them up right here. They were going crazy on glass minnows right there. Look how many spots this thing has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think he has eight on the other side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think he has eight on the other side as well. Do a little inspection here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What is that? Eight and eleven. Maybe nineteen, twenty spot red. I think that's the most spots on a redfish I've ever, ever caught. Let me get re-rigged here. I can't believe that. It was another school of them. They were just popping there for thirty seconds up under those mangroves. I can't believe that. Let me go back up under there. What the? You gotta be kidding me. What in, the... <laughs> what in the timing? I just threw my lure back in the water and got instantly inhaled by a catfish. Alright. Where'd those fish go? They came straight through here, like 50 of them. I thought I heard some pops back in here. They might be on the other side of the trees, though. How is it so easy to lose, like, 50 redfish? Oh, they're 100% on the other side. They're on the other side of these trees. All right, if you guys can see this up here in the trees, these are all redfish under this tree. That is crazy. They're way up there. They're probably still 150 feet ahead, but blowing stuff up in the mangroves. All right, I'm approaching the school of reds. This is, I don't know if it's the same school, but there's maybe a hundred fish, a hundred at least. Right here, they all came out of the water at, at once and it looked like it was just a, a ball of red. I'm trying to catch up to them. Unfortunately, my trolling motor is dying in this wind. probably the worst time for the trolling motor to die. All right, the ball of them is literally right here in front of them. I'm just gonna, in front of me, I'm just gonna toss up in there and reel this thing across the surface. There's literally a hundred red fish. Literally a hundred. Ready? Yep, 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 all over it. Look at this. Dude, this is like Louisiana craziness. Let me get them back up. I need a top water. I just gotta reel this thing on the top. Where'd they go, where'd they go? Oh, here they are. Ready? Yep, there it is. <laughs> We're all under the boat right now. This was not the bigger one. Literally a hundred reds. And I know I've said literally about 10 times. That is straight up a hundred reds in a school and I've never seen that in my entire life. How awesome to see that. There's another school behind me of probably a hundred more up on the shoreline, uh, about a hundred yards behind as well. So this is two there's handfuls of schools swimming around today. It's so awesome to see. Oh. Let me see here. I might need to throw in a little different lure here. Try something that's like more of a surface bait. All right, I think that's like six red of the day. There he goes. Man, what a day. That is a ball of red, a ball of red. I have never seen that in my life. Not in Louisiana. 
not in Florida. Incredible day on the water. I don't know what's causing redfish to school up right now like they've been doing today, but it's really awesome to see. I hope it just shows like how the redfish, the fishery is improving. Maybe I just, right place at the right time, who knows. Come on. I want them to eat up on the surface. They're crazy. I want them to bring I want to bring them to the boat, but they're kind of moving so fast and I don't want to lose them. They're eating so fast. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Hundreds. <laughs> I think I, if these things stay around, look at right here. Look at this. They're coming by the boat. That is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> This fish is, oh, he came out, perfect. He came out. I really want them to like be blasting up on the surface. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna switch lures to something more surface uh, oriented, which is a low mullet. And uh, let's have some fun. All right, guys, well, it is 1.45, and I hate to say it, but my trolling motor is dead, so that means the battery is having issues. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, yeah, kills me to get off the water when I was on such a crazy, crazy bite, but those fish kind of dispersed, and they kind of slowed down. I stopped seeing them after a while. The wind picked up a ton, so it was harder to like hear where they were and what they were doing, and uh, kind of lost track of them, so they disappeared. So I'll, I'll just have to come back a different day um, probably gonna have to end up getting a new trolling motor battery, but wow, what an epic day. It went from so slow, like I had some some fish around and I caught a few fish and then those pops and those redfish coming, it was, it was epic today. I mean, I saw hundreds and hundreds of redfish, probably saw several schools, several different schools, and uh, we caught seven redfish, I think, and a snook, something like that. Um, I just can't get that picture out of my head of them all like rushing past the boat right there on the surface. That was that was pretty cool. But yeah, we got them on the Berkeley paddle tail and it was a fun day. I just wish I could have uh, kept it going, but wind has picked up quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to head on home. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in that next video. See you guys.